What's up, ladies and gents? This is Torque Agent back with a new video. Add a little sugar. Kamusta naman kayong lahat? Online classes have just started a few weeks ago, so I'm really hoping that students, teachers, and professors have somewhat adjusted with the new norm. Last week, I was packing some of my school materials since I just finished getting my architecture degree. Woo! Anyway, I was cleaning up my stuff and I had to keep all my architectural school supplies in one storage. And I decided on making a video for those who are planning to take up BS architecture in the Philippines. Or, if you are just curious on what supplies we use in architecture, you might want to check this video out and watch the video until the very end. Because we have weird and cool supplies in architecture. In this video, I'll be going through my, 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 my architectural school supplies list from my first year in architecture until my fifth year. I'll be posting the list in the description box below, but it would be better to watch the entire video so you guys could see what the materials exactly look like. Enjoy the video! <laughs> What I have here are my first year to fifth year archie materials. This isn't all of it. So uh, before we get started, let me clean this desk first. Alright, let's get started with my architecture school supplies list. Have at least 5 grades of pencils, but personally, I had 7. Felt tip pens, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.5, and 1. A set of markers, get yourself warm and cool colors and preferably chiseled and soft brush. A set of colored pencils, although I wouldn't really recommend this anymore. A sharpener with its own container. Just a regular eraser. An ink eraser, the biggest scam. My favorite toy, a clay eraser, or I think this is called the magic eraser. A French curve, this one comes in different varieties and sizes. Just a basic circle template. A drawing compass. This is probably one of my most hated architectural supplies. An erasing shield and make sure this doesn't have any creases. A flexible ruler for larger curves in your drawings. A piece of sandpaper or just a cutoff for chiseling your pencils. I got myself a translucent drafting board after selling my first one which was made out of wood, so before my first semester ended, I got myself this new one since this is more convenient. It, it definitely made my life much, much easier. An architect scale, aka a Toblerone scale. Get yourself two, one for smaller scales like 1 is to 500, and one for larger scales like 1 is to 25. A 30-60 triangle, a 45-90 triangle, an architect's main weapon, a T-square. A measuring tape, this is definitely one of my most favorite architectural supplies. A 12-inch metal ruler, make sure it's stainless like this one. I got myself the largest cutting mat available. Luckily, my mom insisted on getting the largest cutting mat because this definitely came in handy. A cutter, make sure it's retractable and easy to grip onto. The OG Elmer's Multipurpose Glue. I would definitely recommend using Uhu over glue guns. A storage tube. You could get a plastic one. This one I just got with the tracing papers. If you have pencils and pens, you definitely need a pencil case. Earphones so you can listen to music or podcasts. A brush to clean out your drafting boards or desks. A masking tape since this sticks on to more surfaces. A stapler since some professors require their papers stapled. Tweezers, this one I just got from my mom's dresser. Our drafting area in UP isn't air conditioned so I needed a fan. So shout out to the UP varsity swimming team and to all the scholar athletes. Much love. Get yourself an A4 rim. An A3 rim would come in handy also. 
I also got myself a roll of tracing paper since this provides more flexibility. Here are my top 5 architectural supplies for first year. A mechanical pencil, make sure to have extra leads. A furniture template is definitely recommended. A never been used fan scale. I only bought this since I found it entertaining to own. I mean just look at it. A slightly longer metal ruler, 20 inches to be exact. I even bought a longer one for larger scale models. This one is 40 inches. A knife set for easier maneuvering while cutting your scale models. A smaller cutting mat for whenever I cram my scale models in school. Shout out to all my fellow crammers. A mighty bond is nice to have or any super glue really. A do-it-yourself large folder. I could keep my tracing papers, A3s and A4 here. I just got tired of unrolling my papers from storage tubes. An extra large envelope, I could keep my folders in here and my other architectural school supplies like my pencil cases and other stuff. This was my primary architecture school bag since I found this more practical to use than backpacks or other messenger bags. USBs are a good investment, I'd prefer to get 8GB or more. A power bank for the days when we get dismissed at 9pm. An LED lamp. This one's flexible, so I usually place this underneath my drafting table so I could trace my plates easily. I bought myself better tweezers since this one's much easier to control when assembling my scale models. Last thing I needed for my second year is a tissue. You know, for all my all-nighters and lonely nights, man. Kung iniisip mong maaga ako nagising, haha, nagkakamali ka dahil hindi pa ako natutulog. Here are my top 5 architectural supplies for second year. So by third year, we went through this transition period from going from manual drafting to digital. So some of these so some of these materials will still consistently use, but majority of these I'd recommend to just keep it just in case. So let me just remove a couple non-essential architectural supplies. The compass, the sandpaper, let me remove the fan and the ink eraser since it's a scam and Let's remove the Elmers. The most essential architectural supply is my laptop. I got an Asus ROG with an i7 processor and an 8GB RAM. I got this at the end of my second year since we were being introduced to architectural softwares. I got a mouse. I think whether you're an Apple user or not, a mouse will come in handy. An adapter since my laptop has a charger with a grounding type. That pretty much wraps up all the architectural school supplies we need for first year to third year. By fourth year and fifth year, we'll have to keep more than half of these supplies since we'll move on to purely digital. Here are my top 5 architectural supplies for third year. So I removed all the architectural supplies on my desk since by 4th year and 5th year, it's purely digital submissions. So just to freshen up our architectural school supplies list, 
we'll start again from the beginning. I found that my 2H and B pencils sufficed. My 0.5 and 1 felt tip pens sufficed also. My mechanical pencil with extra leads. Markers that I used only for consultations. My architect scale with a scale of 1 is to 100 to 1 is to 600. I brought my 12 inch metal ruler to school while I used my 20 inch and 40 inch metal rulers at home. I found that my 20 inch metal ruler is what I used the most. My 3.5 meter measuring tape. A retractable cutter. Uhu all purpose adhesive. A mighty bond right here. A quality laptop. Make sure to take care of it since this will be your most expensive investment for architecture school. Don't forget your mouse, a USB, an adapter, and a power bank. I got myself an external drive, one terabyte to be exact, since my architecture files kept eating so much of my laptop storage. Wireless earphones just because I found it more convenient. My first year to third year I kept drawing my sketches and concepts on paper, but I realized I should have gotten a notebook instead, just so I could have an archive of my concepts, and you know, maybe I could use it in the future. But I felt like I had to draw on paper since I had so much paper at home and I wouldn't want it to go to waste. Tweezers will always come in handy for scale modeling. A stapler is a necessity for students. A tissue for your tears of joy once you finish your final plate in architecture school. Here are my top 5 architectural supplies for senior year. And that sums up my architectural school supplies. If you feel like this video was not informative enough, let me know in the comments below or message me on my Facebook page because I was really planning on making an in-depth video on how these architectural school supplies are used. That said, stay in school and I'll see you in my next videos.